the city of Corinth, where Paul preached the gospel, was a cosmopolitan area. It would kind of be like New York or Los Angeles today, a place where you could find just about anything. And the people there, although influenced by Greek philosophy, they were people who were very worldly wise. And they certainly were people who would not be open to the gospel. Paul had a very difficult time preaching the gospel to them. And <clears throat> they just could not accept it. St. Thomas Aquinas said that we, things that we don't understand, we call foolish. For example, in the 19th century, if you told somebody that one day we would have men fly in spaceships to the moon, we'd say they were crazy. That's impossible. We've seen it happen. And when we look at them, Paul preaching the gospel, he's coming along saying, here's your leader. I preach Christ crucified. He was spat upon, he was mocked. He was hung on the cross and nailed to the cross and died. And who would follow such a leader? Um, and yet Paul continues to preach Christ crucified and Christ risen from the dead. And so it, Jesus, God works in strange ways. He never does things the way we would do them. Who else could think of taking two ordinary things like bread and wine and changing it into his own body and blood? Only God could think of that. Only God could do that. And it's what's happening here at this mass. God is giving us himself his food for the journey. Jesus finds, brings life out of death. Um, he brings hope out of those who are, for, for the, from those who are suffering. It, and we are called then just to follow Christ crucified every day. He leads us beyond Calvary to the life of resurrection and new life in heaven. That's the goal. And so today we thank the Lord for his wisdom and for the scriptures that guide us and ask the help of his Holy Spirit to follow him faithfully because he will never lead us astray. Let us stand now and offer our prayers and petitions.